from now until the 2019 NFL Draft takes place, we hope to showcase as many prospects as possible and examine both their strengths and weaknesses. Most of these profiles will feature individuals that the Pittsburgh Steelers are likely to have an interest in, while a few others will be top-ranked players. If there is a player you would like us to analyze, let us know in the comments below. Everyone has their reasons for leaving school and even with a low draft projection, it can sometimes still be an understandable choice, even if ultimately the wrong one. There's some good with Lamar but you have to search far and wide to find it. The more I watched, the more I saw that was positive but still, it felt like a struggle. Just compare the detail of the notes from the good and bad section. Rarely is it as lopsided as it is. But we'll begin with the positives, like always. Lamar is best known as a physical player and thumper in the run game. His size provides hit power and lets him make some plays in the run game. When able to come downhill without changing direction, he can close with decent quickness and capable of finishing the play. I do like his discipline in the run game. Patient, doesn't try to overrun things, and keeps the back contained. Some little plays that are barely perceptible on tape because it's a guy doing his job. Nonetheless, it is a positive. Effort isn't a question with him either. He'll run down the ball the best he can. Now to the bad, and there's plenty. Lamar is about as awkward of a player in space as you're ever going to watch. He runs like someone never letting go of the strafe button in Madden. Short, choppy steps, everything feeling clinical and more mechanical than whatever the heck they make out of McDonald's chicken nuggets. Honestly, it's cringy to watch. Look at him here try to flow to the edge. There's plenty of movement and energy in his hands and feet, arms pumping, legs moving, but he's having such a hard time to cover any ground. Again here on the edge. In position to make the play but too slow and clunky to close. He does ultimately make the tackle, but that's not going to work in the NFL. In coverage, just as bad, turn away when you see him go through coverage drills at the Combine. They aren't all problems with him in space either. He can be overpowered in the run game too, on the ground too much. I know this against GT's triple option offense but still, he's completely run over and taken out of the play. Lamar is the definition of a straight line player whose flaws come into crystal clear view when you ask him to do anything else. With the definition of a run first, first second down linebacker, becoming less and less of a thing, even being generous with the criteria, teams threw the ball more than they ran it on first, second and ten in the first half this year, I don't see how Lamar fits. His tackling ability and head power looks nice for special teams but his lack of range there is a concern. Probably best on kicks where he can run in a straight line as long as possible. I think he'll test poorly, in testing, my guess is he runs 4.75 to 4.85, and in drills. Reminds of me Shane Scope, Josh Forrest and someone I couldn't justify spending a draft pick on. Projection, UDFA Games Watched vs. Georgia Tech 2017, at NC State vs. Boston College vs. Duke 2019 NFL Draft, Clemson, Player Profiles, Trey Lamar.